David is saying, I cannot, can I, can I, how can I uh, give a sacrifice unto my God which has cost me nothing? Let there be something that is costly to you that you give unto the Lord. Amen. Because giving may not be the same, but always the sacrifice is the same. I can give six hours and another one gives 20 days and we are the same or I even have beaten them simply because of how much I am sacrificed. Hallelujah. So just think about the sacrifice that you can give unto the Lord. Sometimes you can even fast out, uh, you can even decide to fast from a habit. Man, you borrow some and you say, Kaki, we can know. Even if you stay on me and slap me, I will the other side and you give, you give me another one. That one will be a very serious sacrifice. Hallelujah. You then you say, someone can say, my weakness is Rugambo. Huh? I can't stay. I cannot stay. I am not stable until I have spread something, even if it's false. And you say, this week, this month, I have Nobody will hear my. There is a zipper. That one is a sacrifice. And then when you feel it is burning, you say, My body, I beat you in, uh, under subjugation to the Holy Spirit. I refuse. Hallelujah. Sometimes, some people, it is poor. When you say, This month, I am not going to go and to end the pop enjoy it. Not even to think about it. The Lord will look at you and accept that sacrifice. Praise the Lord. So just ask the Holy Spirit to lead you and guide you. Amen. Because you can you, you can you can do something for free. And you get out with nothing. God bless you. Amen. The word of God. Matthew chapter 13, verse from verse 24. Uh, this these months have been months of rebuking, of correction, but the Bible, we thank God because the Bible says that those whom I love also rebuke and correct. So, while we don't know why the Holy Spirit is stuck on us. But we know for one, the one thing is that it is for our good. Amen. There is a parable, among the parables that the Lord Jesus Christ gave. And one of them was the parable of the wheat, or weeds. The Bible says in Matthew chapter 13, from verse 24, Then Jesus told them another parable. The kingdom of heaven is like a man who sold good seed in his field. But while everyone was sleeping, tell your neighbor, everyone was sleeping, including me. While everyone was sleeping, his enemy came and sold weeds among the wheat and went away. Tell your neighbor, the enemy went away. When the wheat sprouted and formed heads, then the weeds also appeared. They, they all appear. When the, when the right things appear, they also appear. The owner's servants came to him in panic. That is it, my idea. They came to him and said, Sir, didn't you sow good seed in your field? Why then did the weeds come from? An enemy did this, he replied. The servants asked him, Do you want us to go and pull them up? No, he answered. Because while you are pulling the weeds, you may root up the weeds with them. Let both grow together until the harvest. At that time, I will tell the harvesters, 
was collecting the weeds and tying them up in bundles to be burned. Then gather the weeds and bring it into my barn, the word of God. Praise the Lord. This is the parable that the Lord Jesus Christ gave to the one of the parables that the Lord Jesus Christ gave to the church, to the body of Christ, and first to the apostles. But there is something that the Lord wants us to pick from that, that portion of scripture. Um, number one is that he, you remember that point where the, he says, while everyone slept, the enemy came. Amina. While when after the Lord, after the master had planted it, Udu seed, wheat, and land. While what, after the master had planted good wheat, people went to sleep. The, 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 the servants went to sleep. And while they were sleeping, the enemy sneaked in and planted it wheat. Orumbu. They called it, used to call it Orumbu. And after he had planted the wheat, he ran away. And after that, these two things. When the wheat came up, the wheat also showed up. And all of them were almost looking alike. You know, wheat and wheat, they, when they are still young, they are looking alike. Until at maturity, when you can tell the difference. Now, the servants who must have been sent by the boss to plant the wheat, Slept. That's the number one point we have to remember. They slept. How many times have I been given an assignment? And after doing it, I say, Kasachi Wende, let me go back and have the rest. You ask the politicians for them. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's asking all the wrong money. When she has sold, you could see every day there is a report. Munaki, there is a room over here, and she runs. Uh, now, my dear sister, on a level of Joan, she's not here. Because there is a room over somewhere. Someone must have told her, there is a room over Somebody planted something. Come, please. Praise the Lord. While they slept, someone, an enemy, came and planted it with him. So, sleeping on the job. The master told us that you must occupy until I come. Amen. How many of us have slept on the job? You have done something wonderful. You have started a project. You have started something that is that was glorious in the eyes of the Lord. The Lord told you to do something and you did it. You started it. And somewhere along the way, you I slept. Praise the Lord. Look at a farmer. There is what we call weeding. After weed and weeding. When you plant cassoli, when you plant maize, when you plant uh, beans, do you just take the seeds and throw them there and then you go home and sleep until harvest time? No. How many times do you weed? Weed? Uh, like two times or three for maize or for uh, beans. We think time. The moment you sleep, the room will come in our marriages, in our businesses, in our relationships, in our working with, in our relationship with the Holy Spirit, in our commun communities, in everything that the Lord has called us to do. How do we handle these important projects? After you have planted something good, please, please, the Lord is telling you, do not sleep. Those who are younger, as they say, the mothers or parents, you do not manufacture children just to throw them around. And then you will say, let thank God tomorrow there is, there, that we are going to talk about parenting. You are not a machine. We just produce something and forgot about it. No. The parents, that godly offspring, as the, as the doctor is going to tell us when, the, when we are praying for the children. The Lord was looking for godly offspring, as the Bible says in Malachi chapter 2. What do we do after we have produced these children? They are seeds that have been planted. Do we allow the weed to grow in them? 
or do we keep weed out the weed? I don't care as long as I have his wig on me. Namumala, Jabwa, he gave me the wig. Now it is finished. Even if I mistreat him and blast him and bother him, it is okay. Because I have the wig. You are, you are allowing the wig to come slowly by slowly. And before you know, the whole, the whole garden will be full of rubble in your garden of marriage. Praise the Lord. And you may, the same thing. Have you heard that? <laughs> yeah. The one in Rumbugu, don't allow any Rumbugu. You men also, I'm a man, I know there are times when I have almost allowed the Rumbugu to come. And then the Lord rebukes me. Amen. Amen. Many things that we have stepped on as a church, as a body of Christ, and we are not supposed to. Number two, getting rid of the weed has never been, there is a room of which comes in, in your life, but there is also a room of which comes in the body of Christ. Now, the room of which comes in the body of Christ is usually a very tricky thing, the cults, the false prophets, the false teachers, the unborn but cunning the people who are, who, who are fake believers. They also come in, in the body of Christ. There are also those who are preaching false doctrine, and you hear that, and you hear it, and you say, yeah, real. But they are doing it. Amen? Now, there are some people, there is some kind of weed that you are not, it is not your responsibility to deal with. The master told the servants who were zealous, he told, who, who came to him and said, please allow us to go and weed out the weed. The master in his wisdom told them, you cannot tell the difference right now. Leave, leave them both to grow. After everyone, even the blind, can see that there is a difference here, then I will send the harvesters to, 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 to sort them out. Praise the Lord. There are some things that will happen in your life. There are some things that will happen in the church, in the body of Christ. And you, your job is only to keep preaching the, the uncompromising and uncorrupted word of God and leave the rest with the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord. There are some things that you have decided to fight out of the flesh and have failed. There are things that you have decided to fight out of our own, yet it is not our responsibility. Praise the Lord. It's the master's responsibility. There are some cults that we have tried to fight. <laughs> you fight here, you, 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 you abuse them, you insult them, whom you are playing in their hands. Praise the Lord. The, the, the Bible says in truth, even Angel Michael in his power and might did not dare to insult the devil when he was contending for the body of Moses. Instead, he said, the Lord rebuke you, Satan. Amen. There are times when we have been drawn into battles which are not ours, and then we fall into enemy punches for free. Amen. Praise the Lord. Choose to learn how to fight and the battles that you must fight and the battles that you must leave to the Lord to fight. In the, because after all, the, the, the church of Christ is, is His, not yours. You have never saved any soul and you can never maintain any soul. Praise the Lord. There are times when we have done more harm than good because of our zeal misled zeal fighting come to the chap the pulpit and you are you are only insulting so and so because they insulted you during the week you said come on sunday let me wait for them on sunday they will see me i will tell them after all they cannot answer but so i will i will wait on the pulpit you this is this is a, a, a sanctified place friends the Moses came with his sandals running around to see a burning bush and the boss told him, please, please, please stop there. Then he said, yeah, he said, don't dare come here with your shoes. This is holy ground. Come on. 
remove your shoes. Moses. Why oh, the old man fishes his shoes for 40 years? He was like, this man, this boy is which is telling me to remove the shoes. This must be serious, serious business. He removed the shoes and then business started. Praise the Lord. Lord, don't just come with your anger and your frustrations and your and then you sort things out of the church. No. Leave the master. He knows better than you are. Remember the devil can outsmart you and me. But he can never outsmart the Holy Spirit. So if the church, if the body of Christ can only and only depend on the Holy Spirit for her battles, for her wars, we have won. Amen. The problem the reason why we keep failing is because we want to fight ourselves and the way we know. Then you come back with wounds and bruises. Don't dare to attack things that you do not know or, 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 or fight battles that are not yours. The other point is some sins must mature before judgment is passed. Remember what the Bible says in, 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 in Genesis chapter is it 2, no, 15, verse 16. The Bible says that he, when the Lord was, he, was promising Abraham, he said that your descendants will come and possess this land, but not right now, because the sin of the Moabites, was it Moabites or Anabites? Moabites, the, the Amorites, sorry, the, the Amorites. Uh, Genesis 15, verse 16. The, the, your children will come back and possess this land, eh? but not right now, because the sin of the Amorites has not yet matured. There are some sins which, if you try to tackle, people will judge you. And they say, The man, the, the boy is innocent. There are people whom you are going to punish and they will say, nah, but this is not fair. Yet for you, you have already seen that there is a problem. But because you have not gathered enough witnesses, you better wait until the whole, all the people can see. Amina, because sin is sin, it cannot be hidden forever. Amen. That is why the master was telling the, 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 the uh, overseer's servants, can we go and pluck out the wheat? And he said, don't. Because in the process, you might also destroy the good wheat. Hallelujah. Yeah, it stinks. That, like the, the, in, in, the, in this beautiful book, uh, is it for the laws of power? Uh, there is that book uh, in you. Uh, there is that subject which says, give your enemy enough rope to hang himself. Amen. That God, God is a master strategist. He will give you a sinner, someone who has refused to repent, enough rope to hang themselves so that it remains clean. That the Bible says in Psalm 51, that so that you may be proved when you judge and righteous when you act. Hallelujah. May you be wise. I mean, the Holy Spirit help us not to do things hurriedly. There are certain things that you have, you must, you can just watch and live and pray about and live until you have enough witnesses. Because there are times when you act and the people will say, Ah, no, that was not fair. No, 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 there was unfairness. But God is always a God of justice. And just see, usually is just see when it is a sin to have been practiced. Amen. By everyone, God also, before he passes judgment, he gathers witnesses. They will come and say, Bana for this, this is weed and this is wheat. Amen. Amen. And so he's right. Praise the Lord. But in the if you do it now, when they are Nobody can tell the difference uh, apart from the master. People will say, oh, no, even that church, even that, even, 
Give a dose of that. Give a dose of that person. That management, no. That is that 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 government, no. There is dictatorship. There is what? There is no. But leave the room to grow. Amen. Leave it to grow. Praise the Lord. The other point is not if the gospel must be preached throughout the whole world, as the Bible says. The Bible says that the, this gospel of the kingdom must be preached throughout the entire world, and then the end shall come, praise the Lord, as a testimony. It is a testimony. Amen. Because not everyone is going to be saved, but everyone must hear the gospel. Now we break ourselves for no reason, because we feel Somebody has not gotten saved, you feel so sad. There is a, 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 a friend of ours with my wife. We used to go, we, we go to, 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 to minister to some places, especially in, uh, hospitals, hospital ministry. And this girl, for her, when she preaches to you and you don't get saved, she will want even to fight you. She will cry, she will weep, she will feel like she has, you have. You, you, have, you have become stubborn and you have disobeyed God so you deserve to be punched. That is not your job. I told her, that is not your job, my sister. You are breaking yourself for no reason. The Holy Spirit is job. That is the Holy Spirit's job. You are making yourself, you are turning yourself into the Holy Spirit, which you can never be. Your job is to witness of Christ and that is it that is success in evangelism and giving the rest to God but many times we want to plant and harvest immediately praise the Lord it doesn't work that way because in the in, in the, book, the book of Ezekiel chapter 47 from verse 7 to 12 can we get it quickly quickly please there are people who will not be saved in. And therefore, you are, you are going, and apart from hearing the gospel, that is it. And then it will be a witness for, against them in the last days of the judgment day. Ezekiel chapter 47, from verse 7. When I arrived there, I saw a great number of trees on each side. Is that what verse 7? Okay. When I arrived there, I saw a great number of trees on each side of the river. Trees are people, according to the Bible. He said to me, This water flows toward the eastern region, and the swarms of living creatures will live wherever the river flows. Amen. Wherever the Holy Spirit is, there is life. There will be large numbers of fish, the people who, become, who come to the saving knowledge of Christ. Because this water flows there and makes the salt water fresh. Bring life. So, where the river flows, everything will live. Where the Holy Spirit is, everything comes back to life, even the dead. Amen. Fishermen will stand along the shores. Huh? The evangelist, doctor, you, you uh, uh, and all your compatriots, you will be standing along the shores, everywhere in the whole world, from from Getty. To Egla, there will be places for spreading nets. What you call it, Dalo, for preaching the gospel. The fish will be of many kinds, from Singapore, from Vietnam, from China, from Australia, from Rwanda, everywhere. Fish will be of many kinds, like the fish of the Great Sea. Amen. But the swamps and marshes will not become fresh. They will be left for salt. I mean, but the marshes and the swamps will not be fresh. They will not be made fresh. Even if the, road, the, the river is flowing through them, they will remain there like that. So now it will be foolish of me to try and make marshes and swamps to have pure water, that will be wasted of time. 
the Holy Spirit will lead you and guide you to know what to do, even with these marshes and swamps, because they will not be made fresh. You can read the same in Revelation chapter 22, verse 11. Amen. Now, so, so the point is, friends, my brethren, as time goes, that number one, let us not sleep over the job that the master has given us. Let us not sleep when the Lord, when we have planted some seed. Check, check on them, check on what the project, man, the sheep that the Lord has entrusted you with. Do you know how they are feeding? Do you know how they are feeding? Do you know what is happening among them in their lives? Do you know what is taking place? Do you, do you have ears on the ground? Check. The thing, wherever you have invested energy, time, take time to check. Praise the Lord. Number two, do not fight battles that don't belong to you. Leave them to the Lord. Hallelujah. Don't try to do God's job. He knows it better. Number three, uh, wait. Even when there is time, when, even if, if you know that is something wrong, fight your battles on the knees, not while with your words. Spiritual battles must be fought spiritually on the knees, not with words, not with punches, not with slaps. Praise the Lord. The other point is, not everyone will come to the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ, but everyone shall hear the voice of the Lord and shall hear the message of the salvation of the salvation because they will act as a, as a witness on the day of judgment. Praise the Lord. So wheat and wheat. They are there. They are weeds that you can pluck out, especially in your heart, in your life, in your community, in your relationships. There are also weeds that you must wait and leave for the master's time to come. Hallelujah. And may the Lord help us to know and always tell the difference. The Lord bless you and keep you. God bless you. And protect you. May the Lord smile on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord show you his favor and give you his peace. And all of Israel and all of Uganda and all of CNC said amen. amen. the melody you surround me with a song of deliverance from my enemies till all my fears have the cold I'm no longer a slave to fear
Yes, he does. 